Hey everyone, it's me, Kat. So I had to go out today to get a couple things and do some errands, so I decided to do a haul for you. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books, um, and then I got a couple of like my type of, like just like I got some clothes and then a couple makeup things, and so I thought I'd just show them too. Just in case you guys are wondering, I'm sure you don't, but I'm going to do the other stuff first and then I'll do my books. So um, I got two makeup items because, as you all know, I'm addicted to makeup. Um, I actually kind of want to be a makeup artist, so um, I had to get them. I wanted to try the new Mega Plush, um, is it Maybelline? Yeah, Maybelline Waterproof Mascara. Normally, I don't use drugstore mascaras, um, just because, like, I like drugstore drug store mascaras because they're, they are good and, like, for cheap on the run, like, going to work kind of thing. But, like, if I'm going out, I use my expensive mascara, but I really wanted to try this one. And then, um, I'm trying to figure out where to put this stuff. And then the next one I got was, um, yet again, this isn't, this is, well, technically it's not drugstore because you can't buy it at a drugstore, but you can get it at Walmart, which is where I went. And it's, um, Super Volume Mascara Lashaholic, um, from Hard Candy. It comes in this, like, tube thing. And then, you have to open it up. And what I love is that it's a hot pink, uh, tube. And I, that I, like, absolutely love. This can probably get thrown away. But um, I love that it's hot pink. Uh, yet again, it's kind of a drugstore, drug, I can't say that, drugstore mascara, so it's not, probably not the best, but for the quick and easy makeup, that's what I do. The next thing, I got a couple of pairs of shorts. They're just from, um, I believe, OPI. Oh, just OP. I just got two, like, short shorts. One, I just got regular hot pink. And then these ones are my favorite. I am so excited for these. And they're um, they're like sunglasses, which they're like amazing. I'm so excited. And then I got a tank top, which is really cute. It has like rope for the um, things, and then it has like this really pretty back. But it looks like that, and I thought it was really pretty, so I got it. Okay, now on to the books, because I'm sure that's all you guys care about. So here is what I got. Um, one of the first the first one, two, three, four, five. The first five I got from um, Goodwill. So yeah, the first one is the five minute face. Um, Cause you, like I said, you guys know I'm into makeup and everything, and this shows you a whole bunch of stuff to make just a five minute face for makeup. And she is actually the um, makeup artist for uh, the TLC, TLC show What Not to Wear. Um, so like when they come out into their uh, outfits, they have their makeup done, she's the one that does it. Um, so I have that. I also have um, Bobbi Brown Teenage Beauty, which I got a whole, whole long time ago. Um, but I love the beauty stuff, so I got that. Um, next one I got was The Dollhouse Murders by Thomas P. Morello, I think that's how you say. Um, this is really cool. At first I thought, because, okay, Dollhouse Murders, the first thing I thought of was an episode of CSI where um, there were all these murders going on, but the murderer would make a dollhouse murder, like put the murder in a dollhouse exactly how it's supposed to be, and then send it to the C like to the office, and so that that would be their evidence. Um, but this is about a forensic um, expert. I don't know if Thomas is the author is the forensic expert, but um, it talks about a forensic expert comes in and here I can show you one like that's the store murder. They go and they make these dollhouse murders and then they have to um it, I'm trying to like explain it the best I can. It explains how they go about um finding evidence and investigating the scene and stuff like that through um the dollhouses. So that sounds good. The next one I got is called Whispers, The Voices of Paranoia by Ronald K. Siegel. Um, this is about a couple people. I'll read the back because it's kind of a, a lot. Um, well, not a lot. I mean, like, it's kind of complicated. So, okay, so the paranoid habits, or, sorry, let me start out again. Whispers, The Voices of Paranoia by Ronald K. Siegel. This is the back. Okay, the paranoid inhabitants a different inhabits a different realm of being. 
one that tilts the world ever so slightly. Delusions and hallucinations feed on each other, flourishing with amazing speed, locked in a new mode of thinking, the paranoid views life from a cell. In a dozen case studies, Dr. Ronald Siegel takes you on a chilling but memorizing journey into the dark mysteries of the human mind. We meet a woman who hears her teeth whispering, a beautiful ballet dancer who is in love with the shadow, a UCLA student who believes Hitler is speaking to him through a stolen computer program, and a cocaine addict from whom, for whom the invas invasion of imaginary bugs was strong enough to drive him to commit murder. A dedicated and compassionate scientist, Dr. Segal follows his patients into the shadow land where paranoia flourishes, drug addiction, prison, organized crime, and terrorism, often at risk himself. He explores mild cases of patients who vaguely believe something is stalking them in a serious cases of patients with apocalyptic visions of so intense that they shake the foundations of the entire community. So it sounds awesome. I love all the paranoia and stuff like that. The next one I got is Death with Interruptions by Jose Ceramego. I think that's how you say his name. Um, he was a Nobel, he was a winner for the Nobel Peace Prize, Peace Prize of Literature. I don't know if it was for this though. I'm not sure, but this is what's still coming back. On the first day of the new year, no one dies. This, of course, causes consideration among pol concentration among politicians, religious leaders, morticians, and doctors. Among the general public, however, there is initially celebration. Flags are hung out on balconies. People dance in the streets. They have achieved a great goal of humanity, eternal life. Then reality hits home. Families are left to care for the permanently dying, life insurance policies become meaningless, and funeral parlors are reduced to arranging burials for pet dogs, cats, hamsters, and parrots. Death sits on their chilling, in their chilling apartment, where she lives alone with scythe and filing cabinets, and contemplates her experiments. What if no one ever died again? What if she, death with a small d, became human and fell in love? So, sounds interesting. Now the last one I got is a classic. Um, I've always wanted to read this one, so I saw it and I picked it up, and it is Dracula by Bram Stoker. Um, I don't think I really need to explain Dracula, kind of self-explanatory. Um, and then the next three books I got came from Barnes & Noble, because I went to Walmart to see if they had the book I needed, and they didn't, so I had to go to Barnes & Noble and get it. Um, and it is I my book club book, and it is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Um, I'm so excited to read this. Like, I'm probably going to put down the book I'm reading now and read this. Um, because I don't, if you guys don't know, Bunny Cake, um, I know Casey Hilton will be there. Um, I believe The Midnight Owl and The Book Blogger, I believe that's who's going to be there, um, is hosting a book club. And this is the book that they're reading. Um, it's going to be on September 1st. I'm sure if you go to one of their channels, they have videos up. Um, so, yeah. So excited for this. I don't think I really need to describe it. It's a retelling of Cinderella, um, and she's a cyborg, if you can see the thing in her foot. Um, this will be the first retelling I've ever read, so I'm really excited. Then the next book I got, okay, when I went there, I cannot go to Barnes & Noble because I want to get everything. Um, because I watch so many book videos on here that I want to read everything. Um, so I can only get a couple books. So the next one I got, I was really, really, really wanting. Um, so this was, I picked it up and I was like, I have to get this one. Like, it's not an if or but. Like, I have to. Um, and I cannot wait to get the second book, but I want to wait. And now that I got this one in paperback, I want to wait to get the other one in paperback. Um, and it's Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendra Blake. Um, I'm so excited to read this. This is a horror book. Um, and it is... Uh, the writing, you guys can't tell, but it's written in red, um, and I am so excited to read this. This is definitely going to be on my t TBR list for as soon as possible, because um, I'm so, so, so excited to read this. And I don't think I, I don't need to tell you what this is about. Um, everybody knows it's about a ghost. Um, they call her Anna Dressed in Blood, and people are going to try to kill ghosts and stuff like that. And um, she, it says... Uh, what he finds instead is a girl entangled in curses and rage, a ghost like he's never faced before. So I'm really excited. And then the last book I absolutely had to get, I actually had two other books in my hand that I was going to buy. Um, it was like 
this new thing that they have at Barnes and Noble. It's called 30 Second Psychology. Um, but they have like a bunch of them. There's like 30 Second Biology, 30 Second, um, like anything you can think of. Um, but they had a psychology one, and I'm a huge psychology nerd, so I really wanted to get it. But I put that one down, and they had um, a whole book of Grimm's fairy tales for like eight dollars. But I put that one down um, because both of those. Um, were the same price as this one book, and I really, really, really wanted this one book. Um, and so I just, I had to put them down and get this, because I'm sure I can find the other ones. Um, and I just, I needed to get this. And it's called The Land of Stories, The Wishing Well by Chris Culper. Um, I had to buy this. If you don't know, he's Glee, Kurt and Glee. Um, Glee is my favorite, like, TV show of all time, so I had to buy this. And you know what's really cool? The actual book is so pretty. This is like kind of like a fake leather, and then the side like that. It's so beautiful. Like I absolutely love it. And this is definitely on my QB red list for this month. So all three of these I'm going to be reading. And um, oh, look how pretty these are. Anyway, um, these three I will be reading this month, and there will be a review up on my channel. So that is my haul, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.